Welcome again. This is a military Guna TV. I want to say thank you very much for joining me. This is MGTV. Now, as you guys can see, Dundalk 2, Arsenal 4. A very good performance from Arsenal Football Club, especially from the youngsters in the team. And you can see my this is a bit contrary to my starting lineup that Mikel Arteta went ahead with. And Mikel Arteta is a person who's very hard to predict his starting lineup. And what I do know for a fact is that in the in the um the Europa League were the only team unbeaten in Europe at this point in time, playing in Europe in any form in any league in Europe. But let's get into the game. Let's move into the starting lineup. First thing first, Renard in goal. 3-4-3 three, three, this is a formation. I should say that before I do anything. And as you can see, 713. That means I have 713 subscribers. Please fight with me and get those subscriptions up so if you're new here subscribe turn on notification bell ensure that you get my content as soon as, as it drops now look here this is what i have to say three four three formation that michael arteta went ahead with run arson in goal chambers a right center back mustafi in the middle and pablo mari the forever solid pablo pablo mari at left centre back. Now in the midfield we have Ainsley Midland Niles at left wing back and Cedric Suarez at right wing back. A double pivot of Mohamed El Nini and Joe Willock. Very good pairing. Mohamed El Nini was my man of the match. On the right we have the great Maverick himself, Nicolas Pepe. Up front Eddie Nketiah as a lone striker and Emmy Smith Rowe the creator on the left. Now let's get into the game itself. First half, Arsenal kicked off the game, playing good, moving good, everything in, in transition in our favor of the game so far initially. Now, as early as the game has been, Andre Boyle receive a yellow card, which means that these guys are up for it. And on, on, on that note, now on the 10 minute, Andre Boyle received the yellow card, and on the 12 minute, Eddie Nketiah breakthrough got one on one with the keeper, although the defender was on his back. He coolly and calmly chipped it over the keeper exceptional finish from the young man and then we constantly dominated the game up until the 18 minute where a mohammed el nini bangs his screamer after receiving the ball from emily smith row about 30 yards out of the field he bangs it from about 30 yards out screamer from M uh, mohammed el nini and at this point in time we move on to the 22nd minute where they got their goal against the run of play and i do believe that the keeper should have done something better with that he could have done something better with that but that's how it is on the 28 minutes respectively and 30 minutes we have a yellow card given to cedric suarez and joe willock and we can we constantly dominate the game everyone was trying to get an attempt at goal from first half finish the first half with about nine or ten shots on goal and about six on target each about six or four between those numbers on target and we finish the first half two goals to one in the second half, you see Dundalk making three early changes, trying to get back a whole of this game. And by the 50, 61st minute, they receive another yellow. And I see where Mikel Arteta say, see the fact that they were getting a bit physical and say, okay, let's do something. Mikel Arteta, remove Eddie and Ketia, bring on Fole and Balagan, remove Moment El Nini, bring on Danny Sabayas. El Nini, in, in essence, would be the person I say might be playing um weekend coming so is the best opportunity to get him some rest for that game and on the 67 minute fall and balagan played the ball plays to fall and balagan inside the 18 yard box beautiful older play from him lays it off to um joe willock joe willock took it on his, on his left shoot it to his right and slotted it home hard and low in between the keeper's leg and the game has now become 3-1 now little bit a bit closer to that on the 70 minute we have been clear receive another yellow card massive um contrary incident he could have gotten a red but only a yellow card and on the 77 minute we saw michael arteta with another change bringing on ben cottrell taking off emil smith row you can see a bit of fatigue creeping in but i think that something that can be worked on on the 80 minute nicholas pepper played it a beautiful pass inside the 18 yard box for full and balagan to just slotted it home with his right foot easily cool and composed from the young man 
and it was a beautiful a good finish from that from the young man himself the young gunners himself and on the 83rd minute miguel aziz having his debut coming on turning moving and stirring things up in the midfield area and on the 85th minute where we saw they got their consolation goal finished the game four goals to two now the game finished with arsenal 52 percent possession total shots of 17 shots on target eight four shots off target and we created two big chances 16 crosses because you know we're cross fc but that oh that is how the game panned out now let me get into my player ratings and i do believe i wanted to give Mohamed el nini um man of the match but it's quite hard to give him man of the match okay so player ratings run arson i give run arson a five you should have done better with that goal that he conceded and he could have done better i believe he could have done better so i gave ron arson a five and he didn't have much to do also on the left pablo mari i give pablo mari a seven extremely solid composed and i do believe that he should be the second center back alongside gabriel coming this weekend and i would love the fact that if michael arteta should do something like that he would show a sense of um a sense of not desperation but a sense of belief in the players that he can get the team going in the center of here as we have mustafi chambers both share six per arm ratings each out of ten right wing back we have cedric cedric he had a good game seven out of ten in the midland Niles, also a solid game seven linking up well with emil smith row moving turning getting himself involved a lot with a beautiful shot way out and it just tipped away from the keeper in the midfield area my man of the match Mohamed El Nini dominant in the midfield area keep things ticking I give Mohamed El Nini a 9 Miguel um, Joe Willock in the midfield also 7 with a bonus of the goal that he had scored nicely taken away goal Joe Willock was dominant in the midfield area he was all over the pitch getting himself involved in every area and every um, build up played possible now up front we have Nicolas Pepe where I give Pepe a 8 he was very busy extremely busy trying to get he didn't get his goal but he was trying extremely hard to get himself involved and be a part of something and taking numerous shots and uh, they allowing the defenders to do a lot of work sometimes I believe that is a bit frustrating frustrating and uh, one too many touches quite a few times but Mikel, Ar Mikel Arteta can see that um, he has the quality and he's willing to work with him so my player ratings for nicolas pepe is eight eddie enketia hard working striker seven for eddie enketia beautiful take and goal chipped it over the keeper's head close chip to as well guys <clears throat> was really close to the to the keeper but it was a good nice finished goal we have um emily smith row i give him a seven good game he had an assist and I can say he was extremely busy. Substitutions, we had Balagan coming on to get a goal. I'll give Balagan a seven. Nicely taken goal. And also an assist a goal as well for Joe Willock's goal. And his hold up play is ex is extraordinary. He has very good hold up play. We have Cottrell coming on to keep things moving. Danny Sabayas as well. Keep the, the midfield dominant. And also Miguel Aziz, a good midfielder. Well, that has been my player ratings. As I say, people dundalk 2 arsenal 4 mg tv you're listening to mg tv anyways thank you very much for tuning in before you go let me move that 713 up so subscribe if you're new and turn turn on your notification bell so as soon as my content drops you will get it thank you very much for tuning in this is mg tv and 